All right, it looks like we are live. Uh, we are, yep, we are live. Awesome. Thank you so much for everybody for tuning in. Uh, I am going to approve the very last of the folks who are requesting approval to get in for this event. <laughs> um, we have had a huge group even this morning uh, with the last uh, set of invites that went out today. We have another huge group requesting access. So thank you so much. Um, thank you to everybody for joining. My name is Alex Camilio. Tawny, good morning. We've already got people in the chat. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, if you are in the chat with us, say hello. Let us know you are with us this morning uh, because it is going to be a fun one. We're just going to give this a minute or two here. Uh, for people to start streaming in and joining us and all that. Renee, good morning. Barry, fresh out of Facebook jail. Welcome back, my friend. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Am I going to get DMCA'd for that? I hope I don't get DMCA'd for that. My voice wasn't that good, right? Good morning. Good morning from Massachusetts. Good morning from Vermont. Uh, Craig Grant, who is with us here, is from Florida. So good Good morning. Is it sunny there? Yeah. I was going to say sunny Florida. I just kind of assumed it was. It, well, I mean, it, it's always sunny, but it, today's actually in like the 40s. What? It's like wow. we're, we're, in our, 40s. we're in our mini, My God. We're in our mini winter. How terrible. The 40s. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> People here are freaking out. Oh, just putting that out. I love it. All right. Who do we got here? We got Harry. Good morning. Gene, good morning. Or, yeah, Gene, I think. John, Gene. Uh, Jay, good morning. Good morning from Muskoka, Lake of Bays. You are up north as well. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Young Kim. Good morning, Richard. Ginny. Hi, Ginny Field. Oh, my God. Ginny in the chat. I love it. It's great seeing you, too. You got them early. I was reminiscing the other day. I posted uh, that that uh, the the banner, the event, the, the banner for the, the group. And uh, there's a great shot of Ginny and I smiling in there, as well as many of you. So, Diana J., good morning. Gisela, good morning. Um, Kimon, good morning. Sarah Gustafson, good morning to you. All right. Looks like we got Gary. We got we got a whole ton of people in here in chat. Wealth Ontario. Yep. We got folks all over, all over the world, apparently, at this love point, it, that it. are joining this, in. This is what we wanted, right? That is exciting. That <laughs> is super exciting. All right. So thank you to everybody for joining. We are two minutes past. Um, I figure that is enough time to... Uh, for all the folks that are going to join this morning um, to hop in with us. So, uh, Rose, good morning. Good morning from New Jersey. Good morning from Vermont. Thank you so much. Um, all right. So, first of all, I'd like to introduce uh, a good friend of mine and the other speaker uh, for today. Um, uh, and actually, this is a great point. So, Carrie asks, if I have to hop off to take a call, will this be recorded to watch later? It will. Um, it is going to sit right here uh, in the Facebook group, um, and you're welcome to invite your friends to it. If you get a ton of value from it this morning, uh, you know, you're welcome to invite people to check it out. We're going to be leaving it up for a while. Um, and actually, that sort of brings me to another little thing, but we'll get there. I want to I talk to Craig here for a second uh, and introduce Craig, and then I have um, some good news and, and a couple little things to share for you. So, uh, first of all, my good friend Craig Grant. Um, thank you, Craig, for joining us today. Uh, Craig and I uh, work together. Craig works with the uh, has started founder of the Real Estate Technology Institute. Uh, I am an instructor over there as well, and love to help uh, Craig out with RETI, and he loves to help me with Agent Inner Circle. So, um, Craig, do you want to tell them a little bit about yourself here, and and uh, maybe how we know each other, and and you know your your uh, role in the tech world. Yeah, sure. So um, as Alex mentioned earlier, I'm based out of Florida, um, but um, I do a lot of speaking and instructing in the industry on pretty much anything technology, marketing, or cybersecurity. So I always say if there's a geeky topic, I cover it. Um, so whatever it is, hardware, software, you know, the tools we use in the business, the cybersecurity to protect your business, marketing, social media, anything geeky, you know, kind of in the wheelhouse and kind of I've been an instructor, what, since 2005? Um, so going on 15, 16 years now as an instructor in the business. Um, and now I do run several different companies that service the industry, including RTI, which you and I kind of work together on. Okay. Um, and then the kind of 
how do we meet kind of a deal is kind of a funny story. So um, there's a, a kind of like a conference in the industry called Rapid, which a lot of instructors and the ed directors go to. It's a three day kind of like educational seminar. Like, um, and Alex and I like literally, it was like two little nerd eyes meeting in the crowd. Wait, he because, knows his like, stuff. When, Wait, he knows his stuff too. Huh? Yeah, we should be what? friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, well, most of the tech speakers in the industry honestly aren't, they're not techies. Yeah. I mean, some of them know how to use the tools and, you know, whatever the case, yep. but they're not really techies. And, the, um, and when Alex and I met, it was kind of a meeting of the minds because we were like, oh, this other guy knows as much as I do. And we like, so him and I become really good friends over the years. And now we do a lot of stuff together yeah. just because we have very similar tech minds. Absolutely. And that actually brings me to uh, a note here about Canva this morning and what we're doing this morning. Um, Craig and I are practitioners. And the reason I think that that story is so perfect and how we met is, you know, Craig and I were kind of joking about this because oftentimes by the time we're doing a topic, we've been using that product for years, right? Four, five, six <laughs> years later from when we're using something, it finally starts becoming popular. And we're like, oh, hey, we should actually do something to help some folks on that. So it's pretty cool to be able to do this with Canva where um, Craig and myself have been designing stuff for a very long time now and uh, using Canva for a very long time now. And we're gonna show you what Craig likes to call Canva sort of 2.0, which is in the last year, year and a half, they've made a ton of amazing updates um, to Canva. And I think you're gonna see some of those today as we walk you through um, what we're actually going to be diving into, all right? So um, let me, before we do that though, we're gonna, we're gonna dive over and hop in in one second here to uh, a workshop where you're gonna learn um, very specific thing and we're gonna and, and let me tease you with this so we had a poll to figure out um and we had a, a poll in a few different places to figure out uh what we're going to do and what example we're going to use this morning and we have decided there were there were two that were neck and neck so it was either a video or animation and a social media post and we said you know what let's do the best of both worlds let's do a social media media video post and that's what we're gonna do for you this morning is we're gonna walk you through, we're actually gonna use uh, an agent from the audience as an example um, today. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. I got uh, permission this morning, a friend of mine let me know they were coming a while back. And um, so we're gonna use him this morning and um, actually give you an example, walk you through how it would work for an individual agent from front to back. So we're gonna do that. But before we do that, I want to quickly uh, just kind of mention a little thank you to uh, two groups as to why this is brought to you and how this is brought to you. Uh, the first of which is the Real Estate Technology Institute, which is Craig's group. Uh, it is an incredible group that if you want to learn anything tech in the real estate industry, uh, that is the place to learn it. So I would definitely check that out if you get a chance. And then Service for Life, uh, which is one of my organizations. And that is if you are looking for something that does an incredible job following up with your sphere of influence, uh, keeping you top of mind on a monthly basis, definitely check out Service for Life. Uh, it is worth your while. So that is all in terms of brought to you by, and I think it is time that we dive in uh, to the meat and potatoes here. Um, and pop in. I'm going to share over. We're going to share Craig's screen. You're going to see Craig here for a second with, with his info, and Craig's going to walk you through um, creating a video animation. I'll be here as well. I'm going to be moderating chat, so if you have questions as we go, please put them in chat. We're also going to be asking for your input as we go um, to give us maybe some good taglines or some what this picture or that or this video or whatever. We're going to try to uh, source some of this from you this morning um, to make sure that... Uh, you know, we, we get something that is top quality at the very end. So, Craig, uh, take it away. Thank you so much. And, uh, boy, I'm excited for this. Absolutely. All right, all right so, so, first of all, all um, if, if you, you attended, attended the, the, um, the, webinar the webinar we did last week, last week um, where we kind of dropped, dropped the idea, idea that we were going to be doing, doing these workshops, workshops and everything, everything. Um, um, I kind of went over what, what, what I would call my presentation called, called Canva 2.0 because as Alex, as Alex, Alex mentioned, mentioned Canva was, was always a great program I've been using it for several, several years, years. Um, but, but over the last, last year and, and a half, half or so, so they've added, added so much new functionality, functionality, including things like video. Like in the past, it was really just still images and things like that, but now you can fully create video and animations. Um, so, oh, sorry, I'm hearing, seeing, yeah, yeah, sound is, sound is bad. Uh, did did the echo get fixed there? 
We're good. Echo's fixed. Try talking again, Craig, please. Did you... Yeah. Um, is it still happening, guys? Or It's fixed. It is fixed. All right. Oh, cool. perfect. All right, cool. Awesome. Thank okay. you. Well, awesome. Perfect. Good deal. All right. So um, with Canva, again, you can do all kinds of cool things you couldn't do in the past. And we're not going to go through every little setting and feature. I did that in the webinar last week. Um, and if you want to get your hands on that, we'll give you details on that at the end. Um, but what we're going to do again is we're going to build out a video. Um, and we chose one of our attendees, Gary Rogers. We're going to use his brand, his colors, and everything. Um, and we're going to show you how you could do this yourself. So um, again, with Canva, there's all these different kinds of marked materials you can build, or you could just search and say you want to build a video, or you want to do a Facebook post, things like that. Um, now, I just to speed things up, I did a quick little search. I pulled out a handful uh, of the real estate video um, social media post categories. Um, so this is just a handful of them, but there's more than this. Uh, and we're going to choose this one, the Eaglewood Realty um, template. Um, and you're going to see just how quick and easy it is to kind of make take a template that's already in Canva and make it your own. Okay. So I'm just going to say, click on that one, say, use the template. And now you could see it pulls in that design into um, the editor. And just to kind of quickly show you, if I scroll down, you'll see it shows page one, page two. So the way a video design works in Canva is really no different than if you were designing a, a regular image. Um, you're just doing it in multiple pages, and each page would be kind of a scene in the animation. Okay, so again, you can see there's multiple pages here. And if I were just going to click on that right there, the play the video, you'll see that every few seconds, it would just rotate to page two, then would rotate to page three. Okay, so you don't have to learn a whole new system to design video in Canva. The same way you would design a flyer or a business card or whatever is really the same way you design a video. So one of the really important parts about Canva um, is the ability to create your own brand. Um, now, by the way, some of these features that we're showing you are part of the pro account in Canva versus some of them you, you may not see if you have a free account. Um, but if you go to styles, you'll see these all these different kind of color schemes you can use. Uh, if you have a pro account, you can create your own custom color schemes, which is pretty cool. Um, so the way you do that, just so you know, if I come back to the main account, you go to brand kit, and you could either upload your own logo and it'll build a color scheme out of your own logo, um, or you can design your own color scheme. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, where it says brand colors and brand fonts, right. you can design your own. So those, so and just to, to clarify any questions or stuff for folks, um, you're allowed. You're not allowed to upload a logo or create colors directly from a logo with a free account, but you can add colors at the bottom there to that uh, palette as a totally free account. So it, it, like we said, some of the features get pulled back a little bit in terms of having your own logo that auto brands and does all that, but it's still really easy to create your own color palette, pick the three colors um, that might work for your brand, for example, and then uh, go from there and design all the rest. Exactly. So, uh, and by the way, just so you guys know, I had a free Canva account for several years. It was only about a year, maybe two years ago, I decided to upgrade to the pro level because there are some additional cool features. But the ability to create your own brand colors, like he said, you could just scroll to the bottom and just create your own color palette very quickly and easily for free. Okay, that is that is a feature in the free account. So these are, now Gary, the person we're using as our example, is a Remax agent. So we chose the three different colors of Remax as his color scheme. So now if I come back to the design, you could see that I've already got his color scheme pulled in here. Um, and now what I could do is if I just click on the color scheme, it instantly redesigns the slide with the color scheme. And I could even click shuffle and try different layouts. Okay, maybe I like that one more than I like the original one. 
or maybe we go with all uh, white here as the background. So it's very easy. I can now go to the next slide and I can click on that next slide and kind of change out the color schemes very quickly and easily. So once you create your own brand um, color scheme, it makes it very quick, easy to redesign each slide, whether you're doing a print ad, a video, or whatever it might be. Um, but let's kind of take this a step further. And now let's show you some additional things we can do to really kind of make this a branded video. Um, so for example, one of the things you're going to want to do, I'm sure, is things like add in your own picture, your own logo. Shout out, right? shout out to Gary um, Rogers. So, what? <laughs> yep, uh, so good, so, good friend of ours, um, uh, somebody who's super active in the Facebook community, uh, Gary Rogers. I know a lot of you in chat know him. Um, I'm sure he's in chat, although I think he probably just got a call. So, um, so Gary, uh, we're going to be doing <laughs> one for you. Um, thank you so much for everything you do for the community. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, and for the other agents in here, we're going to use Gary as that example, so you can see how quickly um we can do this and how quickly we can just drop in some some basic content uh and turn something that honestly at the beginning that purple and uh, didn't look that great uh to something i think is going to look pretty stellar so uh, i'll let you uh you dive in there and start adding some components here craig are there any questions okay. while while craig is doing that and starting to do some of the design uh are there any questions in chat is there anything that you want to hear from us um, suggestions, any of that sort of stuff. We'd love to hear from you in chat, so let us know. Joanne, good morning. Veronica, good morning. Ellen, good morning. Oh my God, there's so many people here. Vita, good morning. Oh my God, wow, awesome. Mary, wow, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Thank you to everybody for joining. Thank you so much. All right, Craig, take it away. Okay, so for example, let's, I've already uploaded the Remax logo and you can upload pictures, any kind of picture for free into in a free account. Um, so I'm just going to throw in the Remax logo. And now let's move it into this area right here. Okay. Now his name of his company is not Eaglewood Realty. It's On the Shore, I believe. Uh, on the Charles. On the Charles. That's it. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and let's make that kind of just so we can kind of move them side by side. Let's bump down that font size a little bit so it actually works. We'll choose the blue from the Remax blue there. Okay. So now we've got his own brand, his logo, his company name um, up there as well. Okay. Um, now let's throw in his picture. So, for example, I'm going to put in his picture, but as you can see, the picture that we got of Gary has this white background, okay, which kind of looks kind of ugly if I want to especially put it over a picture. Um, so this is, by the way, the next thing is one of the pro features. Uh, but for example, if you do have the pro account, I can click on effects and in one click say background remover. Um, and now you're going to see a couple seconds later, Gary is now completely transparent Ooh. over that city skyline, okay? And now let's make it a little bit smaller, throw it in the corner. Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. Maybe a little, give it a little. So now a, we have just a little more size. Gary over. I want. I want to see Gary's big smile. Make it a little, a little bigger. bigger. I want to see Gary's big smile there. Come on. There I love he it. Is. I love <laughs> it. Um, and, right. and here's the other thing: so, is uh, we're go we're gonna Gary happens to own Remax on trials for those that know him, but we're gonna focus on Gary uh, as an agent this morning because this is the agent inner circle. Um, so I know Craig's going to drop his name on the top, uh, but just keep that in mind that, um, you know, we're going to try to do our best here to focus on doing this for uh, the individual agent, how you can do this yourself. Yep. yep, absolutely. All right. The next thing is, I mean, if you notice this background, the city skyline is not the Boston area. I believe that's Singapore. Um, so let's go up to photos over on the left side. And now let's search for Boston, okay? And now I can see tons of pictures I could use here of the city of Boston. Now these are still photos. If I scroll down on the left side and choose video, let's do the exact same thing. Now let's find me some videos of Boston. Okay, 
So his company name is On the Charles, the Charles River, right? So let's find an actual video of the Boston Harbor on the Charles River. And all I'm going to do is drop this in here. Oops. Oops, probably just needs to be the same orientation. Let me find a different one, sorry. Boom, there we go. Oh. So now we have the actual Boston Harbor as the background, not that Singapore video. Okay, and as you can see, it's moving, it's doing the video. I didn't have to do a thing for this. Okay, pretty quick and easy. So the next thing we want to do is we need to add Gary, his actual name into this, right? So let's just quickly throw in, and I could choose any of these really cool fonts in here if I want to. Um, I don't know. Which one do you guys like? How about... I don't know. Is Gary feeling cute today? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? What, what, what's, the, uh, what's the take on chat? You see any of these that you like that stand out? Yeah, it doesn't do it for me. <laughs> that Let's, one doesn't work? No, I, 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 honestly, I would say try to stick to the theme. Whatever that on the Charles is, um, that sort of stuff. And this is something where uh, we're going we'll, we're gonna to tease it a little bit now. There's something we're going to show everybody and, and uh, let you guys in on um, at the very end. But uh, Craig and I have been designing for a very long time, designing websites, uh, designing, um, some folks are saying the baked fresh, uh, Rose just said that, try that one. Um, but you baked know, fresh. a lot of folks are, um, you know, we've been doing design for a long time, designing websites, designing graphics, designing marketing material, uh, designing things that will get a response from people. So Craig and I have some sort of techniques and tactics. I've written about it a good bit, um, on the agent inner circle blog. Um, but we're gonna, in the coming weeks, do some more content and some more stuff to talk a little bit more about why we make some of these choices that we do, why certain colors or, or certain layouts or things like that work better, um, than others. And, uh, you know, you can just sort of see some of these fonts will look great. Some of them, not so much. Um, you know, other yeah. things like that. Uh, Sarah Gustafson asks, okay. how much is the pro account? Uh, it's twelve dollars a month. Twelve bucks a month. That's not bad. That's really, really nope. not bad. Like, yeah, uh, not for. And I'll kind of go over. A little yeah, bit not later, for every, like not for everything that you get yeah. as part of this. It's um, pretty, pretty cool. All right, so, and I'm just um, quickly doing a couple things here. Like, I'm just moving these two things side by side. And by the way, if you guys aren't seeing some of the things that I'm doing, one of the beautiful parts about Canva, like uh, Alex just mentioned that both of us have design backgrounds. We do a lot of design work. But the beautiful part about Canva is you don't need to have any design skills because it is so easy to use. Yep. Um, I always love to say it's kind of hard to screw up a Canva design because you're working off another professional's template. Uh, but, for example, if you guys noticed – that Baked Fresh was on two different lines. So all I did was I they were grouped together. I said, ungroup them, and that way I could move them side by side instead. And now if I'm worried about, okay, are they lining up just right? Well, if you guys could see the little pink lines that kind of are showing, yep, now you're perfectly lined up, okay? So it really does. I mean, you can do this with just about everything. If I want to now regroup these two things together, I just click on both of them. I say group. And now let's make sure it's totally centered over the logo. Okay. So these little crosshairs, these little pink lines you could use um, to really make sure you're doing everything and keeping everything in the right spacing and alignments and everything. So I'm just going to move his name a little bit closer together. All right, while, while you're doing that, them. Craig, while you're cleaning Thank that up, I'm going to read chat here for a second. Uh, so a couple things. Um, Sarah says, thank you for letting us know about the pricing. Perfect. 
Um, Beth asked, is there a replay? I missed the beginning. Good question, Beth, for those folks that are joining us partway in here. Uh, this, re this is going to continue to be uh, available as a video inside of the private Facebook group. So um, if you want to share it with people or things like that, just let them know they have to join the group. Uh, but the video will be in here um, and available for that. Um, yep. So good, good question. Next one is, we got a question uh, from Vita. What did he just do to get the colors to switch to the brand colors? It's a really good question. Um, and we're, we're yep. kind of teasing towards something we're going to cover a little bit more in depth. We're going to actually be offering, uh, should I tell him, Craig, should I let him in on it? Sure. All right. All right. Absolutely. So um, let me get one second here. Um, we're going to switch over. Uh, just to interview for a second, and I'll switch back over. So um, we might as well announce it now. Um, February 2nd, we are going to be offering a Canva masterclass where we go into a lot more depth than this, uh, teach you and then how to actually set up all the color scheme, set up your profile, set up the brand, do all of the details um, that come with setting up your profile as well as how to do exactly what we're doing today for a video um, in things like letters and postcards and business cards. And we're gonna walk through a number of other templates and things that you can do um, in a masterclass. And we're gonna be telling you more about that at the very end. So I just wanted to mention that quickly since we're get, starting to get some questions that will uh, be covered in a lot more depth in that masterclass. Uh, I'll kick it back to Craig here. He's gonna show you exactly how he did change those colors. Um, and give you a brief or mm -hmm. a quick overview on how that worked. Um, but then yep. keep in mind at the end, uh, we, we do have some options for folks in terms of a, a masterclass and something that we're gonna be uh, continuing on with. So, all right, so let's yep. um, let's go yeah, back way, to... Facebook chat, um, which is uh, when it comes to um, the whole um, Canva Pro, the $12 a month account, yep. Um, and she is correct. She says you can try it for free for a month. Um, and there's also team pricing. So worth it. Yep. So totally. No, she totally right. How to make it a video. We, that is, I, Eileen, that is exactly, uh, what we are covering We're today, um, is exactly how to turn this into a video. So we, we are with you. We're, we are yep. doing that. Um, so to be in the masterclass, do we have to upgrade to Canva paid member? No, you don't. Um, we, there are some things that are going to be paid member features that we're going to cover uh, just for those folks that do have those accounts, but you definitely do not need a uh, paid account to get a ton of value and get a ton of um, finalized things, products, things that you can use uh, in Canva. There, there's Every now and again, you might have to pay a dollar for an image or a dollar for some different stuff here and there for content, um, but you certainly do not need the account. And like we said, um, like Lori mentioned, there is a trial. So even if you want to do that and test out, maybe get that trial, get upgrade to that trial for the pro membership um, while, while we're doing that. Yep. And, uh, and you can mess around with what those features are um, for yourself. So great question, though. Great question. Thank you so much. All right. So yep. we're, we're back to you, Craig. Okay. This is going to look pretty good. Okay. So first of all, um, somebody asked how I changed the font colors and things like that. Yep. So... The, one of the cool things about Canva is if you click on anything, you'll see this little toolbar above what you're designing. And you can see right now it has the font name is bitter. We're at 34 font size. It's bolded. color, And the A with the little color is the color of it. Um, so let's teach you two things at once. So what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to copy um, this one specific thing, the on the Charles. And I'm going to move it below it. Um, and the reason is, well, let's say I want to throw in Gary's phone number. Now, I'm just going to put in a fake number here. We could always change that later if Gary likes this. Okay. Um, so we now have the exact same font and font size and everything as on the Charles, right? So now let's click on it. Let's unbold it. We don't want the phone number to have the same, you know, boldness as his logo. And now I click on text color. And I could either, again, it shows me here's the Remax color scheme that I created, but let's make his phone number stand out a little bit and let's make it gray. Yeah. Okay. So you can choose, you don't, you're not re like 
restricted just to the color scheme that you created, you still have the ability to choose any color on anything you want to do. Okay. So Love it. we now have, again, we've changed out that background to a Boston uh, Harbor background. We've put in Gary's name with the font we wanted, uh, you know, the uh, baked fresh. We've put in his logo, his phone number, all that stuff. Uh, now, by the way, one thing just to, to before I move on to the next slide um, is if I click on the video itself, in the top left corner, it shows this video clip is 15.6 seconds, which would mean the video would sit there for 15 seconds um, before it moves on to slide number two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into the 15 seconds, and now let's trim it. I'm just going to pull this down to four seconds. Wait, how okay? easy is that? And now I click done. And now the video will, this first slide will only be four seconds long now because I trimmed it down. Okay. So now let's move on. Oh, do we want to change out his slogan? Yep, I do. So I want that to be blue, first of all. That red is just, it's bugging me. I don't know about all you right. guys. The red. So the remax, yeah, blue. and I, I want to read a comment here in chat uh, from, from our friend Barry. Um, he said, my assistant, 14 years, uh, health issues caused her to reduce her hours before COVID hit. I relied on her for years to produce my basic stuff. I did do some quick seminars, flyers, etc., and decided to dig into Canva. The first attempt was terrible. Now I can whip off a decent flyer quickly. Um, and he, he goes on there, but, but I, I wanted to mention this Barry, because I, I want to mention something to, um, to kind of everybody in the group and, and just talk to you for a second here. Design takes a lot of failure. Like the first time you do a design, it's probably not going to look good. And the second time you do a design, it's probably still not going to look good. I've done this for over a decade, actually more like 20 years now, I've been working in design programs. And I still will work on a design for hours. And then I'll wake up the next morning and go, wow, that's terrible. I, I, what was I thinking? Like that thing is just awful. Right. So don't feel like um, you, you don't want to cause paralysis. Right. You don't want to edit yourself until you never get something out. But you also need to keep in mind as a, as a somebody who's new to design, you're not necessarily going to get something that looks 100 percent professional um, overnight. You're going to get really, really close, but it might take you a few tries uh, to try and get to that point where you're you're finally comfortable knowing how color schemes work, knowing how all those things work. That's kind of why we're one of the reasons that Craig and I are going to do this um, masterclass is that we really, really want to make sure that uh, that you have some guidance in terms of why we're picking the colors and why I was like, yeah, I want that blue. I, don't, I really don't want that red. Like that just doesn't right, even though it is within the color scheme. So, um, Craig, I'll, I'll let you take it away here, but uh, I just wanted to kind of let folks know, stick with it a little bit. You know, you're, yeah. it might not be perfect that first time, but it is so easy to make changes in this. Uh, you absolutely can get something that is super professional looking without a huge time investment. Yeah, and, and the biggest advice I, to kind of piggyback on that I can give you um, is try to stick to the Canva templates as much as possible. Because, you know, at least at the beginning, once you are really good at using Canva, I go in and I add in custom elements all the time now because I'm, I've am i been using it uh, a lot, you know, practicing like Alex is talking about. But if you kind of stick to the templates and just change what you want to change, it's, again, kind of hard to screw up a Canva design. Yep. Okay. So let's take, let's crowdsource this. What do you guys want Gary's slogan to be? And if Gary's in the room, you can tell us what you want. If you have yeah, a slogan. Yeah, I feel bad. He texted me like five minutes in and said, I have to take a call for work. I'll be back. I'll be back. I promise. And I was like, <laughs> oh man. But that's what you get with busy realtors, right? Like Gary, right, Gary's right. a busy realtor, busy agent himself. He mentors a ton of people. He helps with a ton of events and runs a brokerage. Like I, I can't blame the man for, for doing business, right? So, um, Let's crowdsource it. What about the group? What do you guys think? What, what do we have for a slogan uh, for Gary here? Because we aim to store high. I mean, I know Gary's into skydiving and all, but. Well, actually, one way to make that one work. <laughs> we could just throw in the Remax balloon. We could. We could. Let's save that. Let's save that for one of the, the later ones here. Add some graphics to, okay. uh, to a later one. Nobody in chat, nobody, nobody wants to give us a, that's all right. 
Um, we can leave that. We aim to soar high. We'll we'll get a, a new tagline or a slogan. And if folks do want to throw it in chat, feel free. We're uh, we'll we'll get that approved. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna keep so, moving on here. All right. So moving on to page two, right? Which is just gonna be the next after the four seconds of the first page. It's what's gonna be the next few seconds in our in our animation in our video. So again, we can just click into this one to say we're working on it. Um, and I can come back to my styles and I could just immediately just say, okay, let's change the colors and shuffle it to the different layout options for the Remax colors. <coughs> and let's just say I like this blue background, but I'm not really crazy about the red font on the blue background. I could still click on that and then change the color to whatever color I want. I can click on this one and change the colors. So let's now change this to... Okay. And now, again, we have a New York or a different city skyline. So let's go back to our videos. We've got our Boston videos here. And it's talking about you know, the pioneering. So maybe we can find one has a little bit more history in it. There we go. And once again, we want to trim that video down so it's not 12.6 seconds long. And let's make this one four seconds, just like the first one. There we go. And now we have that, okay? So now we have two, we have eight seconds of our video created. And I, if He's I wanted to throw other things back. in, if I want to... <laughs> Gary, we need your input, buddy. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Come <laughs> on. Did, did, you see the, uh, yeah. did you see the intro slide? There Come you go, on, buddy. Gary. There's your, your first few seconds. Mark asks... Uh, so... Oh, by the way. Oh, sorry. Go, go ahead, ahead, Craig. Yeah, well, I was going to say, that, um, just so you guys know... We could also add music into this video if we want to have it be, you know, not just a video, but also have music in the background. There's a whole library of copyright safe music I could also throw in. I mean, there's a lot of cool features in here, guys, just so you know. So we're just going to, you know, focus on certain ones we can do kind of quickly teaching you guys. Um, but all of these things are completely editable. Oh, also, let's say I want to make Gary's picture consistent in every single slide. I'm just going to click on it. I could either click the copy icon, the duplicate, or I'm just going to click Control C to copy it, come down to this slide, and I'm going to paste it in, and now it's in the exact same spot. Okay. So you guys can see how quick and easy I'm making these changes um, without any real skill involved. So now we're going to move on to the third one. So let me... Let's uh, come back yeah. to our styles. L let me deal with a couple chats here. Oh. Um, so we got a couple. So we got Gary back. Uh, Kimon, I hope I pronounced that correctly. My apologies if I did not. Said no comment yet, just stunned. I hope that's a good stunned. Um, uh, Mark Montrose says, I assume you can add your own videos. You can absolutely can. Uh, you can definitely add your own video content. Um, so they have some file size stuff and so on, but they're really pretty good about uh, what you can upload and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Gary says, dumb question, no such thing. Uh, Canva can be used for both mobile and desktop, question mark. Yes, it can. Although on mobile, there are not quite... It's not. I would say there's. I would say about ninety percent of the features yeah, work on mobile. It, it's, there's a few yes. features here and there that are computer, like online only. But there's a couple of them that don't work on mobile or aren't available on mobile. But it's very powerful on mobile. So perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, it works on both. I would have said eighty percent. Not the same thing. Um, uh, Christy asks, "Are you?" able to add in your own narrative, as in you talking. Absolutely, Christy. So the same way you'd add uh, background audio, you can have you or somebody else talking if you want to have somebody do a voiceover, um, and you can add that audio. Craig's going to show that right there. You can add that audio right into, um, into the clips and, and into the background, so you absolutely can, um, and you know, definitely yep. pretty awesome way to do that. A uh, tiny bit of background noise, you know, you talking, 
Um, and it can be as simple as you recording an audio file on your phone and uploading it. Like you don't have to go crazy with over the top with a mic and all that sort of stuff. Um, and actually even with the pro account, they have some stuff to help you clean up your audio um, and improve some of the quality of the audio that's that's in there as well. So uh, great question. Um, Eileen says, can you copy and paste video into YouTube? You absolutely can. So it wouldn't be a copy and paste. It would be, you'd, you'd have to export it. Um, but once you export the video, you can upload that video to any uh, sort of, of medium. And in fact, they have some options that allow you to share directly into some other platforms. And Craig, I think is gonna show those uh, show those at the end. Gary says, I've been in business since 1855. Damn, I'm old. I mean, I wasn't going to say it, Gary, but, you know. <laughs> oh, man. When? So what, 20, you're 27? Just mentioned, so, Gary, in 1855, you finally paid off your student loans. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, I think Gary and I talked about this. Gary's been in the business 27, 28 years? Is it 28? Huh. All right. So, Tawny gives a great tip here. Um, thank you so much, Tawny. Uh, tip for agents using Facebook, hold on, uh, we're scrolling. Tip for agents using Facebook ads, come to Canva to turn your ad image into a video. It will get more views, more clicks, and ad cost will be lower. Oh, what value. Uh, Tawny would know, she knows her stuff. Tawny is an agent uh, and friend of ours, friend of the AIC community. Um, Tawny is out in uh, Salt Lake um, area and uh, she knows her ads. Boy, does she know her ads. So definitely pay attention to that one. Gary says, great tip. Maybe creating a video, then stick it on your listings in Zillow. Uh, Vita says, where's the 1.0 session? My brain hurts. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we're learning a, a lot of interesting facts about you today, Gary. Gary says, ouch. 32. Oh, man. You need to update your website, Gary. I just updated. I, mean, I put them in 1988 now. 88. Right. I love it. So a pup. I love it. Yep. And Barry, our, our veteran agent here, a pup. I love it. Oh yep. man. I'm the, All I'm right. the youngin. All right, let's keep going here. Yep. Several of you guys asked those questions about, can we add our own video? Can we add our own audio pictures? All that. The answer to it all is yes. Okay. So over on the left side in Canva, the second button down is called uploads. And this is where you can upload your own media, whether they're pictures, the images, videos or audio clips okay so you can do any of those things and if i click on upload media you get to choose am i doing it from a device such as from your own hard drive of your device are you going to do it from facebook from google drive instagram or dropbox so you can easily add any of those things pictures videos and audio clips and add them in now just so you know with a something like a music clip um if it's music that you own but you don't own the rights to it'll reject it the same way youtube would reject it you know saying you don't have the copyright rights to this uh, music because just because you own the cd uh, but yes you can upload and add in your own pictures and videos and audio clips pretty easily all right moving on to cool. page number three all right let's so let's again blast all through this. Is I clicked show really how quickly. quickly yep exactly let's show them how quickly we can blast through a bunch of these slides and yep. get some really good graphics in here for folks. Man, Barry's at 53 yep. years, Rose, 38 years as a realtor in June. Man, we've got some Love amazing, it. amazing veterans in the group. Thank you so much for joining today. All right, Craig, yeah. let's do it. Change these colors All up. Right. So I've already shown you guys how you could just do the entire uh, page with the rebranding where I can just shuffle it. You can also just click on any element and reshuffle that element as well. So now I'm changing, you know, here, I kind of like that layout a little bit better. Let's go with that one. Okay. Uh, a, and now let's throw Swedish, in again little bit another of a video. Flag vibe. Or is that Switzerland? No, Sweden? Let's, get that let's throw in this cool little nightlife of Boston kind of a video into it as well. Okay. Once again, I want to crop it down from eight seconds down to four. Do, Boom, give me, there give I go. Do me a favor, Craig. Okay. Switch up that blue white yeah. and reverse those. Which one? This yeah. one? Okay. 
So let's make it red and white, or I can make it white and then click on the yep. little line in the middle and change that color as well. So all of these things are easily editable, guys. All I'm doing is click on them and picking colors, picking colors, clicking on the words and changing the words, stuff like that. Okay. Um, and we're not, we don't have time to go through every single one of these slides. We're going to kind of show you in a second kind of what this is. Um, but let's again change out the style on this one. Sweet. All right, while Craig's doing this, um, I'm just going to let you go for a few slides here, Craig, and uh, kind of start talking with chat here for a second. Um, so Barry asks, uh, okay, why bother reducing the time of the video? If someone is looking at that page, why does it matter if it is short? So um, the video itself, usually there's a few reasons, Barry. So first of which is depending on the type of media that you're ending up with and where this is getting published, there are different benefits to having different sort of certain lengths of video. So social media might be a little different from YouTube, might be a little different from what goes on your actual website in terms of the length of time. The other thing to keep in mind is that um, people are sort of only interested, are, are attention span is somewhat short, right? So people are only interested in certain things for a certain amount of time. And in this case, what you're doing is you're using some video and maybe some audio to offset and keep some interest while they're reading. And you're really, what you're trying to do is give the person enough time to read the text of what's being said on that page, absorb it a little bit, and then move on to the next thing, the next point. Because if someone starts getting bored, they're watching whatever little video clip and they've read what they need to read, all it is is some thing scrolling over houses, it's very easy to lose somebody uh, in your audience that might get bored or, or might, you know, um, kind of scroll away from it. So the, the perfect layout is essentially, excuse me, give them enough time to read it, maybe give them an extra couple seconds to process it, and then you wanna move on to the next point um, that you're making, and that tends to be the best in terms of captivating an audience. All right, we got another one here. Uh, Rebecca says, is there a way to apply the brand colors to the whole template instead of each slide? So uh, yes and no. So you can select multiple slides at a time. So Craig right now is just selecting uh, one slide each as he goes down and doing this because the way these colors are set up, um, they didn't, this template is a little bit easier to go uh, page by page and kind of look at it. So yes, you can. The other thing is if you're creating your own template or your own graphic from scratch and you start with those template colors, all of the boxes, squares, etc., that you start creating are going to automatically be created um, within that color set to begin with. So it makes it a little bit easier to work, um, work from the beginning down. The other thing is this. If every slide is white background, blue text, right? Or vice versa, blue background, white text. If every single slide is that same exact color set, it gets boring. You don't tend to keep uh, that same thing I was just talking about with Barry. You, your goal here is to keep interest, keep something visually appealing. And if it's the same, if it's just the same colors over, 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 over again, um, you, you don't tend to, people tend to lose focus. Uh, they get distracted and um, what essentially what we're doing is what's called a pattern interrupt. So if you create a pattern where your color, 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 very similar, if you want to make a point stand out, you change up the colors because you're not letting people settle into a specific pattern. People tend to get complacent, um, distracted, and not retain as much information when they fall into those sort of patterns. So the more you can do to stay within it, a theme, but keep interrupting that pattern, the better you're gonna do uh, having people interpret or, or get you know an understanding of your content, essentially. Um, good question, Rebecca. I, I definitely appreciate that one. Uh, Gary says, seems it would be the most useful doing it on an iPad. Um, get the mobile benefits, but easier to see. Um, 
it might not be too bad on an iPad. I personally love the mouse and, you know, mouse and keyboard versions of this. Uh, you know, you're seeing Craig's mouse, but one of the things that um, Craig and I were talking about last night is the more you can do to learn your keyboard within design programs, the better. And what I mean by that is if I want a set of text or a set of uh, a graphic or whatever it is to go exactly to the right or exactly up or exactly down and not, you know, to the right, but a little bit up or, or off or whatever it is. I want it, you know, straight right. I'll often use the arrows on my keyboard instead of actually using my mouse. Um, and because I'm just using a right arrow or an up arrow, it's moving in pixels in that direction. Um, and it just makes it a lot easier. So I tend to think if you learn the keyboard shortcuts and you learn um, some of the keyboard inf you know, stuff that you can use, I tend to think it's better uh, to work on a, on a desktop. Um, yeah, so mobile definitely has some benefits. Here's, here's where I mention the benefits on mobile. Let's say you have a template like this created for, uh, okay, here's a great, here's a good example. And I've heard this one in the industry for a long time. Let's say uh, somebody just moves into a home and you want to send them, because this is a kind of a cool tactic, you send them a quick little video that's like a welcome to your new home with some of the pictures of the home that you have the rights to use. That buyer, I promise you, is going to go share that video with all of their friends. Oh my God, look at this home we just moved into, right? And they're going to share out that video. So mobile makes it really easy to do stuff like if you're on the road or you're in your car, Right, those people have just moved in. Let's say you still, you know, you go to closings or whatever it is. You can go out into your car quickly, swap out these photos for, let's say, maybe the listing photos or some photos that you took um, that you know you're allowed to use of the property. Swap those out on a mobile device and send it to them from your car. You know, there, there's stuff like that where I think doing some of these things on the fly uh, can really impress. Some of some of the folks and some of the clients that you're dealing with, and turn those things into um, into shareable moments. So there are definitely some benefits of being able to do it on mobile. My take is, uh, if you're doing really really heavy graphic work, setting up those templates, those sorts of things to begin with, I tend to work on desktop. Um, but then I make sure that it's accessible, compatible, all that sort of stuff with my phone, so I can just easily send out, um, you know, send out content that way. Yeah, I think it really boils down to whatever you're comfortable mm -hmm. with or what situation you're in. Totally. I mean, if you're, you know, out in the field and need to very quickly create a post for social media, obviously mobile's going to be more convenient at that time, right? So the beauty of Canva is it does work on all devices and you're not limited. You don't have to pick which one you want to use at any time. So if there's a situation where mobile makes sense, use it on mobile. If there's times where you're, you'd rather have it on a big screen and have more mouse control and all that, then use desktop. Yep. Um, so we've got another question right. here from Barry. Oh, uh, said, and as someone who creates a fair amount of PowerPoint presentations, should I be using Canva more for PowerPoint? I assume that the videos will work in PowerPoint. Um, yeah, so if you want to create videos in Canva and then include them into your PowerPoint slides, you absolutely can. You can either upload them or put them into YouTube or, or all the different ways that you would include them in a PowerPoint. I would make this note though, Canva is not a replacement for PowerPoints. Um, it's something where if you want to up, you know, include some video into your other PowerPoints, definitely, you know, great option. Um, but I, I wouldn't replace PowerPoints in general. Um, Kimon says again, are those uh, video clips slash pics freely uploaded? So, um, some of the, so depending on your account, so free accounts, there are some freely available uh, content that you can use. There's stuff online, there's, and I'll try to find it here, but we do have um, some articles on AIC that talk about, you know, what you can and can't use and things like that. Um, but um, there are some graphics and so on, some images within Canva, within the free accounts that you can use as free accounts. There's also uh, some additional footage, video, images, et cetera, that are available um, with the paid account. So you get an extra library of that. And then they additionally have sort of a premium library 
where you can pay, I want to say it's like a dollar. It's a small amount of money, um, but you can pay a small amount of money to license and use uh, the imagery that, uh, that is available. That being said, though, any stock photo um, company that is out there, whether it's, you know, Adobe, iStock, uh, any of those sorts of things, um, Storyblocks, FreePick, I mean, you name it, uh, any of those sorts of things work as well. So if you have another account uh, or access to use those images from somewhere else, you're more than welcome to include them into your account and use them that way. Um, awesome. Uh, Gene says, what's the max upload size for a video? I actually have to look that up. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a max. I can tell you, it kind of goes back to what Alex was talking about earlier. Uh, people's patience and their download times and stuff like that. 500 meg. 500 meg? 500 meg, which is, which is huge. pretty huge. Um, that's, yeah. that's a pretty sizable video uh, <laughs> to, to put out. So, um, I mean, I'll give you an example. This whole live stream today is going to be like a gig, like one, one, two, one, three, something like that. So like, it's like half the size of this entire uh, live stream um, that you're that you're watching. Today. Yeah, and we're going on an hour. And we're going so on an hour. Kind of give you an idea. Content. So yeah, to give you an idea. Okay. Okay. So just to kind of quickly show you guys, um, while Alex was talking, I was just quickly going through and making quick little changes to each slide. Like I put Gary's picture on each one of them. Oh my god. Um, so you know, I, I swapped out some of the photos and videos for different ones out of the library, um, and. Just on one slide, I didn't go through to do it on all of them. It just kind of gives you an example of how I also created like a, a little bar with his name. I mean, you can add elements, again, as you get better at using Canva, right, to kind of make things stand out. Um, but what you can see at the top is where it says share. Then there's a little, little play button, and it says 40.9 seconds. That's our video. We're going to go watch it in a second. It's 40.9 seconds. Um, and then there's also the ability to download it. So if I want to <laughs> download this as a video, or I could choose other file types if I wanted to, I can. But if I click video, and then I can say, all right, out of all the 10 pages we built, do I want them all? Or do I want to start selecting just certain ones of those? So you don't, just because you design a page doesn't mean it has to be in the video when you save it, okay? Um, but let's now kind of go and watch the video that we just created. And you saw just how quick and easy I'm just going in and changing text and adding, you know, picking different pictures or videos out of the library and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click play yeah, and so I, you guys can see And I it. want to mention here, so uh, Craig was doing this pretty quick in, in just a couple minutes um, as we were going through and, and kind of discussing and all that sort of stuff. Um, what we're going to be talking about in the masterclass that we, uh, we went into further, you know, we're, we're going to go into further depth on and talk a little bit more about here is why some of these images, why some of these graphics look so much better than some of the others, right? Some of these look really, really great. And you're like, oh, wow, that's a, that's a really cool one. And then some of them are like, oh my God, that red, what is that? What, what oh my God. Right. Um, and it, it's very different even within those same set of colors. So we're going to talk about that in a lot more depth, um, why some of these colors work, why the designs work, uh, and then show you how to apply that to, um, to a lot. So what does everybody think? Is that a pretty awesome video that we created here and showed everybody how to do in a couple minutes? What, what does everybody think of that? Most importantly, Gary. Gary, what do you think? <laughs> he said enough of Gary. Yeah. He's like, I've had enough. That's too much Gary. Gary, I feel like you're sort of like cowbell, though. You know, you can never have enough. What does everybody think? All right. Thank so you for sharing, shaking my head. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yep. Great. Can't wait to try it. Absolutely. This is great. Um, so... Any questions here? So I want to take us in uh, in a second and, and talk a little bit about this masterclass. Um, is, if folks are interested, let us know in chat. We definitely want to hear it. Um, so play it. Play it one more time for folks. Um, play the video one sure. more time. And then I'm going to take you over and, uh, and show everybody what we're doing 
within um, within a master class that we're going to be putting on. And actually, you know what? I didn't even announce this this to them, Craig. So Craig and I are going to be doing something pretty exciting here that is totally free. Um, so uh, Craig and I, as we mentioned, we talked about the beginning of this today. We are both pretty tech-minded people. Uh, we work a lot um, in technology, um, and uh, you know we, we work with a lot of different tech than we've had for a very long time. So what we're going to do is Craig and I are going to start doing regular workshops just like this um, in the Agent Inner Circle group. Um, yeah, so for the masterclass, give us a sec, folks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you more about that, where you can sign up, uh, how you can sign up, all that sort of stuff. In fact, you know what? Let me, uh, let me I might as well dive in. Yep. Um, but while I'm mentioning that, we are going to keep doing some stuff for free here which is, as I mentioned, um, the workshop itself uh, that we're going to be doing. We're going to keep doing these Mondays. We're going to, Craig and I, um, you know, we might have some conflicting schedule stuff here and there, but Mondays we are going to do our best to keep coming every week with some sort of quick workshop just like this to teach you the skills of how to do something in your business that you can take and actually go use that same day, the true end-to-end, -end, how you do all these, these different pieces. So. Um, let me ask, so what topics, what other workshops, what things would people like to learn about, uh, in a workshop in the coming months? So let, let me know, um, because we're going to try to do one a week and I would love all those topics. Now let's talk about the Canva, um, for real estate masterclass, because I am going to, in just a second here, um, drop that into the chat. I'm going to put the link, um, I'm going to put the link for it right into the chat for everybody. So uh, we'll do that. But, but what I'll mention is we are going to do a Canva for real estate masterclass. It's going to be similar um, to what we talked about today, except we're going to go, as I mentioned, into a lot more depth on how the designs work, what sort of things you can look for to create uh, some really stellar designs um, and turn yourself into a top-notch designer using Canva. Um, you're going to learn how to save time um, by setting up your account with all of your branded logos and images um, and make it really easy. We covered that in some, de some depth today, but we're going to go even more depth, set up multiple palettes. You're going you're gonna to learn a lot in that section. We're going to then teach you how to create highly engaging uh, social media posts that drive business. So we showed you some stuff about creating a video today, um, but the video is just a small part of this. There are a ton of ways to get engagement uh, on social media, on all sorts of different platforms. And actually, we had a question here um, going up. It says, how can you tell what size this is or change the size for Instagram versus Facebook? So uh, when Craig downloaded it, there was an option to do that. And actually, when we started, what we chose was Facebook video, which automatically sets up a template and a size specifically to use for Facebook that Facebook prefers to get the most interaction um, and most traction. So uh, we're, we'll cover that in more depth in the masterclass, um, but it is something that's included there. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna design a postcard or a letter um, that gets read and responded to, something that uh, you can send to people. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Perfect. All right. Uh, let Craig show us how to get it to the media outlet after downloading. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, Terry says, I'm in the central time and did not get on earlier. Is this taped? Yes, it is, Terry. Um, it's going to remain in the group here. Uh, so the recording, the recording is there. Um, you guys can all hear me, right? All right. And then Craig says, uh, let Craig show us how to get into the media outlets. How about this? 
I'm going to show you the stuff for the master class, and then Craig will do uh, something at the very end showing everybody how to um, do a quick download and then use it wherever um, that might need be. And we'll cover that in even more depth uh, in the master class. So, all right, I'll finish this here. So we're going to uh, build a captivating video template that you can use over and over again. It's not going to be the one from today. We're going to use another template that you can use um, in your business, a whole different model for agents, something that's uh, showing off what the value, what you give, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to cover a whole bunch more. Um, plus, as a special bonus, uh, you're going to receive three um, time-tested templates that you can use over and over and over again, um, excuse me, as part of this. So we're going to keep doing these workshops for free. Um, but for a masterclass like this, for a couple, uh, I mean, literally a couple hours of Craig and I teaching, um, we are, you know, we want folks to get access to this, um, but we do, do want folks that we know are, uh, totally serious about it. And, uh, you know, for a lot of associations out there, it's a pretty penny to book a, a ticket to go see Craig or to, to come see myself. Um, when we go out to speak and we do these sorts of master classes for associations, brokerages, you name it, um, all over the country. So, but Craig and I talked and we wanted to make this really, really accessible. So normally things are like valued at a couple hundred bucks. I mean, people are paying that sort of money to come see Craig and come see myself speak. Um, for tickets pretty consistently. So uh, keep that in mind. But we wanted to make sure that that was not the case for you guys. We want to make this really, really accessible for everybody because we love um, this community and all that you do. So we are actually just going to do it for 35 bucks, $34.99 um, for a two hour masterclass. It's going to be on February 2nd, February 2nd. Um, and actually, I got something better for everybody. Uh, in chat because I love everybody in the community. I love what you all do and that you got involved and that you got excited for this. Um, we're going to go a step further. And instead of $34.99, if you sign up today, um, there's going to be two benefits, two bonuses. One of which is we're giving a little bit of a discount uh, for the folks who actually sign up today to use this, to go to this course, to go to this master class with Craig and myself. And then um, we're going to do a little bonus. So for the first 10 folks to join, um, we are going to choose at least three of them. Um, we're going to choose at least three of those folks. And those folks are going to get uh, templates just like we started doing for Gary today. Um, so we, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. Rose says signing up today. I love it. I love it. All right. So I just put the link in chat um, to the event. You can register directly at that link. Um, it is uh, pretty inexpensive. Like I said, we, and we're going to keep doing this. So Craig and I, what, what our goal is going forward is we want to do at least um, three workshops a month that are totally free, something to give back, to share our um, experience and share the kinds of things that we do inside of Canva. But um, we're going to try to do one of these a month. We're going to try to do one master class a month where we take one of the workshop topics uh, and go above and beyond and really, you know, take it into depth um, and give a whole end to end on it. So um, we'd love to see you in there. Uh, Mary says, will it be taped? That day is already booked out. Yes. So if you uh, purchase tickets for it, you will get access to the replay. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be a live event. So you'll be able to, you know, you won't be able to ask us questions. Um, although Craig and I are pretty access accessible people. So if you have questions afterward, um, we are always happy to, to help and to answer and, and to do what we can. Um, but yes, it will be taped. Um, so you can definitely, if you book tickets, uh, you know, get, get access to that afterward. Oh my God. The people in Craig Rose signing up today, Peggy Dinger signing up today. Gary is, in. Barry is in. I love it. Mary is in who else is in. If you are in, let us know in chat, Richard Harris is in, um, is it possible to slow down one of the stock videos? Terry Anderson, sign me up. I love it, Terry. So I'm going to put the link in chat here again uh, for any folks that may have not seen it. Um, you can sign up right there at that link. You can sign up right through Facebook. You don't have to go anywhere else. It is a Facebook Live event. Um, we are staying in Facebook. It is run through the Agent Inner Circle page. Um, we got a question from Gene here. So we're going to do two things. Craig, 
Um, I'm going to kick it back over here to you for a sec, and I want you to show people um, exporting it and sharing it and using it in other places. Um, and then uh, we got a question here, which is, says, is it possible to slow down one of the stock videos? So you can certainly truncate it, um, but somebody was asking about actually slowing it down and, and sort of time warping it. Allison Kane already signed up. Gary already signed up. I love it. Um, did it, did everybody else see the, the 29? It should be 34 is the price. And then there's a special discount for signing up early, um, and getting in early. This price is going to change. It is going to go up to, uh, 35. Um, I know huge $5 difference, but it is going to go up. Uh, at 35. Maybe it's transitioning into your currency, Mary. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it after with you. Um, if you're still having an issue, I'm, I'm happy to, to hop on and help. Um, I know, right? Well, he, he made a joke earlier. He said it was 35. He's like, it's like 200 Canadian. I'm like, oh man. I remember the day back in the day, we used to be able to go to Montreal Expos games for like, no. And it was just when I was a kid, when I was like, you know, 10, 12, um, uh, there you go. All right, Terry, let me, uh, let me tag you in this and I'll, I can send it to you directly. I'm also going to post it, um, into the, uh, Facebook group, um, as well. So everybody can see it. Okay, great. Great. So Barry, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check it out with you. It should be a 35 is the price. And then 29 is like a discount for signing up early. Um, that's the discounted price there. Uh, and I'm not, man, people are still requesting access to the group. People are, this is going crazy, Craig, crazy. All right, let me hop back over. Uh, let me hop back over. I'm going to share it back to your screen here. So uh, two questions. We're going to show people how to share it um, and get it out to other media. And then once we do that, uh, in Vermont, it's like 20 chickens. <laughs> oh my God, I love you. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I'd be happy to, Barry. Um, so, all right, Craig, back to you. Let's first show people how to share right. this. Okay. So first to answer that one question about, can you slow down a video? The answer is no, at least not here in Canva. I mean, if you have a different video editor, maybe you could do it there. Um, but if something, a video out of the library, the only thing you can really do is you click on that video, um, is really just crop it, you know, like where you kind of reduce the time, clip it. Um, or you can crop it if you want to change the shape of it or stuff like that, but you cannot slow it down or speed it up. So just to answer that. Um, so the other big question was how do we kind of like, you know, download or share this? So you've got a couple different options. So first of all, the share button right at the top here, um, you could either, um, first of all, there's the ability to share it with somebody else. So let's say I have a teammate in the business. I want them to review the video or I want to send it to my broker to review before I publish it. I can just type in their email address. It would send them an invite link. And then if they have a Canva account, they could even look at it. And if you give them editing capabilities, even work on it in their own account if you want that. Okay. Um, and then when it comes to like really sharing or downloading, you either can click on the download button which would allow me again to save it as an MP4 video file. And I could always choose which ones I want. Um, and if I click this, let's just say done and download, it's basically gonna save. You can see it's now working down here at the bottom, a little progress bar. It's saving this video file as a file to my own computer. So you could save it as a file to yourself and then you could upload it to pretty much anywhere else. Now you could go to YouTube and upload it as an MP4 file or a Facebook post. Whatever you want to do, you would, this would give you the MP4 file, the actual video file itself. And then the other option is in the top right corner, you have those three little dots. Um, and here you have the ability to download it, share it, present it, uh, even present and record, meaning you could actually narrate it um, uh, you know, and send it over to somebody with notes or you could share it to all these different locations. Uh, and in fact, if you click on the more, there's a lot of different places you could share this video file to. Um, and, oops, sorry, I just finished saving it to my own computer, as you can see. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. Um, so let's just say I say I wanna share it to Twitter. 
if you've never shared it to Twitter before, the first time you do it, it'll just ask you to authorize connecting your Twitter account to Canva. And then from that point forward, you can always share it to Twitter. Um, so again, if you've never shared it to any of these sources before, it'll just ask you one time to authorize it. You just log in and say, yes, I authorize. And then you can share it to any of these locations anytime you want. So pretty quick and easy again to either share it to your own file or to share it out to a lot of different locations. Totally. Um, love it. Perfect. Uh, one, we got two more questions here. One of which is um, slowing down a video. That's, again, that you really don't have those. The only thing you could do is you could just play with each slide's um, time. Okay. So, again, I could make it go longer than four seconds. I can make this slide be seven seconds or whatever period I want. Uh, but you don't really have the ability to do timing other than how long you want each clip to be. Okay. Is there another question? Uh, yeah, we got one more question um, from Gene that says, any tips on saving and organizing in Canva? And I can handle that. Um, so Canva Pro, um, one of the added benefits to Canva Pro is that you can have a folder um, that and create your own custom folders. Um, uh, so once you create those custom folders, you can organize... Um, you know, organize your folders, organize your files, do all that sort of stuff. But that is something that is in pro and pro only uh, for a feature and, and functionality there. Um, another question we said, Eileen Rosenthal says, can you save the whole video and also separate videos with select slides? So yes, Craig mentioned that before when he uh, clicked the download option. One of the all pages there allows you to pick one page um, versus multiple versus which pages you want to export. Um, as you go, Eileen. So yes, you can absolutely do that. Barry says, thank you. I have to take a call. Today was a good day. I learned stuff that always makes it a good day. Looking forward to the masterclass. That does make it a good day, doesn't it? When you get to learn some stuff. That's always a fun one. Um, cool. Uh, if you upload a video that was made using green screen, can Canva be used to put it in a background? Uh, sure. Yeah, they do chroma key, don't yeah. they? Um, well, no, but it doesn't. But I mean, to give you an example, I mean, if you're just creating your own background, uh, are you talking about you basically you're, you're wanting to design a background to use for green screen? The, the answer to that would be yes. Like, for example, if you guys see my background right now um, is kind of like a nice looking office. That's not my office. That's just a it was actually a stock image I found in the photo library of Canva. So, for example, I'm just going to go to photos. And I'm going to type in background. Actually, let's change it to virtual background. And they have a huge library of, and they they, they kicked out a whole new category um, about six months ago just for like, you know, uh, Zoom backgrounds and stuff like that. But you can pretty quick, you can either pick a one out of their library or design your own. But these are kind of meant to be backgrounds um, in stuff like, Zoom and Google Meet calls, things like that. Yeah. Uh, Amy, did that answer your question? Weird. All right. So Rose said, I registered a masterclass and paid to not get confirmation yet. I will double check for you, Rose. Um, obviously, I'm trying to handle all this, but I will make sure. And then Peggy, for some reason, said, wouldn't accept my sign up. That's all right, Peggy. I'll message you after this. Uh, and we'll walk through whatever is going on. This is my first time using the Facebook paid events. Um, we usually register and do paid events um, in some other platforms, but we really wanted to try this and keep all of this in Facebook since we're going back and forth between groups and the page anyway. Um, so Amy says, meaning I've created a video on my iPhone with a green screen, but I want a background. If I upload to Canva, can a background be inserted? Um, so what you're talking about, I believe, is what's called a chroma key. And I haven't actually had to mess with a chroma key in um, in Canva in a hot minute. I knew I know where it is in the old template version or the old 1.0 version of chroma key. But at some point they did um, actually have a, um, a replacement for that. I'm going to double check. 
exactly where you use that. And... Yeah. Not sure. I mean, there's not. Nah, I mean, there's transparency. There's different effects and filters you can put on. Um, but I don't think I've noticed a, a chroma key option in here. I could be wrong. Yeah, like I said, I remember it from from version one. They've made a whole bunch of updates to this. Um, so let me. Uh, I, I want to double check that for you. We just had uh, Mary ask, can you resend the link to sign in? Absolutely. I just did that. Um, perfect. Gary says, my registration was immediate and got the receipt right away. Awesome. That's really good to hear, Gary. I'm glad it's working for you perfectly there. Um, okay. Yeah, and guys, these emails are coming from Facebook. So right. you might want to, you know I mean, right. You might, you might have your, to check your spam yeah. or it might be a delay depending on if you've ever, you got emails from Facebook consistently, but this isn't something we're controlling, but again, check spam or just be a little bit patient, but they should all come. Yep. And if not, just let us know and we'll take care of you. Yep. Perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah, Kathleen just asked, can sound uh, in the sound in a background of a video be removed? Yes. yes. So anytime there is audio, you can remove it from it. Yep. And there's two ways to do it uh, in Canva. You can either um, turn the audio down entirely and just mute it for that specific clip. Uh, or you can actually, there's a way to split out audio. Um, audio and video and essentially just turn it off uh, for the video itself. Yeah, and by the way, I just showed, like, you just click on a video clip, and if that video clip has audio in it, you'll see a little icon at the top of a speaker. Yep. So you just click on that, and you could either turn it down or just mute it. Absolutely. Cool. Very, very, very cool. Yep. Um... All right. Any other questions guys, here? Sign up for the master class. We'll go over yeah, all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. I think at this point, um, we are going to to pause questions here for a sec. Uh, I am going to um, put here. Um, all right. So I'm going to switch over. You're going to go over to four. So I am, uh, I want to mention just one more time what everybody is going to be getting um, in this masterclass. Thank you to everybody. Um, I can't imagine Facebook's on overload. Um, yeah, will masterclass show us how to add a voice file as a narration for a video? Yeah, we can absolutely do that, Gary. Um, we'll, we'll add an audio file for the video template that we're doing. Um, and just to, to mention, yeah, anybody who is having any issues whatsoever with the sign up uh, and signing up for the masterclass, shoot either me, if you have me as a friend on your profile, I'm happy to do it personally, or just shoot our Agent Inner Circle um, page uh, a message. You can message our page, uh, Agent Inner Circle page. You can message that directly, um, send a message there, or send me a message personally. Um, and I am more than happy to get back and, and make sure that we get you uh, into that class. So, uh, definitely check that out. Yep. Yes, we do. Um, anybody can comment, but we don't have posting turned on right now. Uh, we're going to be doing some extra, uh, posting and content for everybody, uh, in the coming weeks. I wanted to get some folks in here before I turned on that, um, before I turned on posting for everybody. So I'll do that today. Absolutely. It says I tried to sign up and didn't get it to complete. Man, I don't, this is scaring me. Oh, oh, Facebook. So we've got, it looks like we have 15 so far who have successfully made it through sign up, actually purchased. Uh, everything has gone through and worked and so on. Um, I'm going to make a quick list of names here um, of the folks who are having any sort of challenge uh, doing this. 
So if you're still having a challenge there, let us know. Let me know in chat here, and I'm going to keep um, trying to add folks. But we definitely want to make sure that we can get you into this. Oh, here's the other thing is make sure that you are um, a few things. One, make sure that you're signing up using an actual profile as opposed to like signing up from your business page. Like maybe you're logged in as your business page or you're logged into something else at the same time. Uh, make sure you're doing it from your, your individual profile. Um, I think that's one, the only thing I can think of at the moment. A little hard to troubleshoot while we're on a live here, but I will do my best to troubleshoot this for everybody um, as soon as we are off of this call. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So I have uh, Eileen, I have Mary, I have Peggy. Um, let me see if there's anybody else. Rose, we're going to check your registration. Yep, Mary, I have I have Mary May, I have Eileen Rosenthal, I have Peggy Dinger, and that's, I think, it for the folks that are having a challenge getting in. We'll get them over. We'll get, we'll get them over that hurdle. All right. Yeah, Rose, we'll we'll reach out. So if it if you're not in that list, Eileen, Mary, Peggy, or Rose, um, if you are not in that list, let me know. And if you're having a challenge, let me know with sign up. Um, as I mentioned, I did this all literally right through Facebook itself. Um, I set it up through their payment gateway, etc. Uh, so we'll we'll go from there. Um, oh, I know what it okay, we'll go from there. All right, let me take us back to Craig here. Um, uh, Craig, any suggestions, comments, thoughts, questions, anything we should know um, before we uh, before we wrap this up for today? No, the only thing I would say is, um, like somebody asked earlier, do you have to have the pro account to attend the uh, workshop? The answer is no. Uh, but like someone else mentioned in the group, there is that free month trial to upgrade or try out Pro. Um, so there are some very cool features in Pro that aren't available in the free. So you, I'm not saying you need to, but you might want to consider using that free trial. You can wait till the day before the workshop if you want. Um, but you might want to sign up for that free trial um, to, to really get the full benefit of what we're going to cover. Because if you don't have the, the Pro there are going to be some features that you're going to be like, I don't have that. So again, you don't need to, but I would recommend doing it. I love it. Trudy Holmes kind of says they came in late. What are they purchasing? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's so great. Um, Trudy. So what, uh, yeah. what folks are purchasing right now is we just did a whole workshop teaching folks how to do video. Um, and we are doing a masterclass on February 2nd um, that a whole bunch of folks are purchasing. It is a $35 course, um, and it is uh, we're doing it for $29.99 for folks uh, that are signing up today, plus some some extra bonuses. So, um, yeah, so that's that's where we're uh, that's what we're doing. That's what that's what we were. Uh, that's what folks are buying at the moment. So, awesome. All right. Um, well, let me uh, let me go back over here, Craig. I want to say thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so yes, much. Um, I am really, really excited for the masterclass already. Uh, this is going to be Same. absolutely astounding um, and exciting and, and all that wonderful stuff. So thank you to everybody who, uh, who purchased, who has already signed up. Um, for those few folks that were having some, some challenges, I'm going to take a look in. Uh, as soon as we get off this today, I will be in contact with everybody. Um, to make sure that the uh, the sign up uh, that you're able to get in. So uh, yeah, thank you, um, thank you so much. Um, I think that's about it. 
lifetime <laughs> lifetime subscription to Agent Inner Circle at the <laughs> low, low cost of a zero dollars. <laughs> um, Gary's own. I love jokes. you, but Gary. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So for those that don't know, let me just uh, close this out here. Um, thank you so much to Craig Grant, my good friend, um, my buddy. We are going to be doing this um, on Mondays. We're going to keep doing workshops right here in the AIC group. Uh, so stay tuned to those workshops. We're going to try to do that on a weekly basis. Uh, we are super excited for the masterclass. If you have not already, check out Craig Grant with the Real Estate Technology Institute. Um, Craig has a, an amazing program over there. If uh, you want to learn all things tech, uh, definitely head on over and check that out. Uh, last but not least, my name is Alex Camilio, uh, CEO of the Agent Inner Circle, agentinnercircle.com. Um, free content every week, usually has templates and uh, hopefully stuff to help your business. So I think that does it for me. Craig, any parting words for the group? Nope. I just sign up for the masterclass and look for more of these workshops and also check out reti.us. And by the way, we have free webinars on RTI every Wednesday at three Eastern as well. Yep. So exactly. A lot of great resources, a lot of, most of it for free for you guys. Totally. All right, buddy. Well, uh, thank you. Um,